Hello there, I'm Boo, or Jamie, and I like drawing, maximizing my hours in all the Pokemon games to find shinies, and I like to complain about lore in World of Warcraft. Hello, 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 and welcome back to a new episode on the channel. We've made it! We are in Outlands, just like I promised we would do if you guys would be up to it. And you said you were, so here we are. Ah! Isn't this a sight? Man, this brings back memories. No matter how much I love Wrath of the Ditch King, the first time I step through the dark portal just always will be so damn special. This feeling of an alien land that is so different from Azeroth is just so present everywhere in the Outlands. And I'm really happy that you guys were so positive for us to come here because I'm not complaining. I love this. I'm very happy to be here. And as you can already see, I changed our appearance a little bit because I thought for TBC we can definitely put on a fresh coat of paint. And before we're gonna accept all of our quests, I'm gonna quickly tell you where to get all this stuff. So most of the stuff, so everything that isn't the shoulders and the weapons and the girdle, you can actually just buy in Shadbreath City from one of the Naru vendors there on the inner circle. And it's for any plate class at all buyable. It's all these Inferno tempered chest guard gauntlets leggings and boots they are also available from different sources like there are also green drops that have the same appearance but this is the easiest to get if you don't have it the goblin girdle is actually from a quest in nether storm and you don't need to do any pre-quests for that funnily enough you just have to go there and in area 52 there is a wanted quest for i think nether rock the mob is called and once you hand that in boom you have your girdle that is the best one i found so far that fits with this set because this set sadly doesn't have a girdle and the shoulders also have different places where you can get them. I think these ones are a drop from Blackrock Depths, but I know that there are also just green ones that can drop everywhere in the world from 50 to 60, I think, or from 40 to 60. I am not entirely sure, and that's all wibbly wobbly due to all the level squishes, but I bet you can find them on the auction house. There are also different shoulders that would go along very well with these. So, for example, these shoulders also fit very well and there are different ones that have all the different kind of classic shapes with these colorations and last but not least the weapon is the Hatebringer. this weapon dropped from gazan which is one of the bosses that we actually tamed back on our hunter from the underbog in tbc this is just where you can get it if you're lucky and this is it for transmogging so far and i know that we can also as a blood elf paladin transmog the very fitting Blood Knight Tabard to this. I obviously could, but I actually wanted to do the quest with you guys. Back in the day, this used to belong to a class quest of the Paladins, and it was how you would get your fast Paladin mount. But by now, this has become one of these very generic quests that sends you into the Black Rock Depths. And I thought we're just gonna do that and get the Tabard itself. So for now, I will hold back on transmogging it. And while discussing the very importance yeah, of transmogging, I just accepted all the quests that Ralma has offered to us and now I'm also gonna look for the mining trainer so we can also mine all these nice nice deposits in Outlands which is very important and I actually opted into time walking for this one simply just so I don't have to deal with anyone who is still into coming to Thralma and killing all your quest givers because that used to be a pastime that people love to do before time walking was a thing because what is funnier than just grieving some random people huh? I asked of you this guy is also sending us on our little way to kill demons because after we killed nothing but scourge for the past three episodes with this character now we're up the against the next big enemy of this world which is obviously the good old legion this is just what we're gonna do this quest giver also just sent us into the citadel which is the dungeon that we can very faintly see on the horizon back there but we're not gonna go there just yet i'm not even sure if we're gonna go there at all because dungeons also give a lot of experience and just like i said in the last episode i already feel like the leveling experience in world of warcraft is so short-lived i think i want to spend that doing quests while not every mob is a one-shot i mean 
<laughs> to be fair, these mobs are pretty much a one-shot to us, no matter what level we are, but hey, just paladin things. And oh yeah, I also chose to use a different ground mount for the last few levels before we can fly. This is a very special hawk strider you actually can only get on the Argent Crusade tournament in Wrath of the Lich King. Over there are a lot of very cool recolors of the usual fraction mounts. It's a very long ordeal to get to the point where you can even buy these mounts and even once you can buy them them, you still need the currency that you well get from the tournament itself and it takes multiple weeks to get all the mounts and honestly I'm still missing a few so I thought maybe at some point we could do that also together but for now we're gonna stick to TBC because you guys were very excited about it and I absolutely share that excitement and I gotta say I do enjoy it quite a bit that not every mob is a one-shot right now. I hope it stays that way. That definitely makes the questing experience a little bit more exciting. And we have to kill a lot of orcs for the bone chewer blood. Which is kind of funny because on the lion side you mostly have similar quests in the Hellfire Peninsula. But instead of killing orcs for a drop quest you just have to downright kill 20 orcs. And the thing is that most of the time killing 20 orcs is fast than getting 12 blood for some reason because you know not who was that oh i think it's that caster over there huh oh yeah we, we we really need to fight a little bit more i like that maybe it was a really good idea to come to tbc maybe the mobs here scale a little bit better than they did in the ghostlands oh and i think i also dinged to 26 when i crossed onto the outlands yeah i did oh wings oh we get we get wings I just wanted to skill that we get a little bit less damage, but I mean, if we get wings, how can I say no to that? All right, give me that blood. Thank you. Honestly, I almost feel like they increased the drop chance for the blood because that was fast. And honestly, just like I said it in the Blood Elf starting zone, isn't this such a cool view? I feel like the feeling of a broken world was captured so well in Outlands. And sometimes I feel like the art department could really do with sometimes remembering that less is more in some cases. And I know that I pretty much sound like an old person again when I say this. The newer zones are just a little bit overstuffed with art assets. Now, after we killed the first few foot soldiers of the Legion, we're gonna go onwards and take out some of their teleportation devices which is funny because the alliance has exactly the same type of quest just on the other side of the hellfire peninsula and i'm also going to pull a few of these demons together so we can use our wings and look really cool i actually don't even mind the new version of the wings i really gotta say you have to step really close into this portal to disable it kaboom but this was only one of them and we need to destroy two. Oh, and fell iron deposit. Yay! And while we're flying here, I'm gonna tell you about an update on the laundry situation. Because just today, some of my neighbors were complaining that apparently our machine is doing a little thing where it leaves stains on the freshly washed clothes. Now, the thing is, last time I used it, which was a couple of days ago, it didn't do that. So I'm really surprised how all of the sudden our machine is broken again. I'm just here being so annoyed that... Probably once again I won't be able to wash our laundry for a few days. Because people cannot treat our machine with the respect it deserves. Alright, and now we're gonna be sent to the abyssal shelf. Let's go. And this is another bombing quest because in TBC they just discovered that they could do this. I mean TBC was obviously also famously the expansion that brought us flying in general before this expansion you couldn't fly at all so they obviously needed to show off this new and cool mechanic and now this bomb has a much quicker cooldown because i remember that this quest was really hard to do in just one go and you needed a lot of precision to hit enough enemies to count for the quest all right 
One of my overseers at there is one. What, what do you mean out of range? I'm almost directly above his head. Oh my god, let me down, let me down, let me down. There are so many deposits and they need me. <laughs> and fell iron is so precious. Uh, should we ride back there to get them? You already know the answer to that question. All right, we have to kill a lot of demons to even get that one, but worth it. They didn't give me wings for nothing. Give me my fell iron. In case you're wondering how precious fell iron is, this precious. All right, come along, infernal warbringer. We have a deposit to mine. And then I gotta go AFK for a spell because my fiance just came home. All right, we're back and we're gonna burn down this cannon after we successfully evaded the uh, Doomwalker twice while I was shown everything that my fiance bought in the city today. And now we're gonna return to Thralmar because we have successfully beaten down the legion at least a little bit and uh don't mind me just passing the path of glory real quick and this pretty one sends us over to falcon watch which is the little blood elf outpost here on the hellfire peninsula oh yeah and we also have to go up there to one of the many many forge camps that the legion has put up all over outlands and bit by bit and zone by zone, we're gonna destroy all of them. And I can already see my favorite site in World of Warcraft, a little mark on my mini map telling me that uh, there is a deposit. Yay, and we also, oh damn. We've grabbed the attention of quite a few people. Um, Also, I shouldn't always forget to use my consecration. Oh yeah, and we also can skill something, right? Yay. Tempest of the Lightbringer, let's go. Now we have even more Divine Storm which is always good. All right, we need more of these servants. And the Forge Master, is this the Forge Master? No, this is not the Forge Master. Ooh, this is quite a lot of enemies actually. But no worries, our wings are back up again. Where is the Forge Master? Oh, is he in a different camp? Well then, let's be on our merry way over there, I guess. So the thing is, right now I don't have wings up, but we also have a bubble. Let's not forget that one. And yes, cool kids never bring the fight to the fell cannons that are stationary. They always do the fight a few meters away from it, so it can't even get cleaved. Subscribe for more amazing World of Warcraft advice. Alrighty, good news. We killed a lot of Legion. Bad news, there's even more Legion. There is so much more Legion, guys. You cannot imagine. Also, love to see that there is another person questing here as well. Man, just imagine for a moment that we would have a goblin glider right now. Wouldn't that be cool? Honestly, navigating Outlands again without being able to fly is a little bit challenging, not gonna lie. Right, so you come here and you and let's do this and that. And I really can't wait for Consecration to be passive because I keep forgetting pressing it. And boom. Oh yeah, and while we're on it, we can also do the cool little quest chain that is Outland Sucks. Which is absolutely not true. But we're gonna help him anyway. Even though this quest line is a little bit annoying because first we have to go into this chasm, which is already pretty bad because there are these borrowing little rest burster. <laughs> which are a funny little homage to Alien. And honestly, back in the day, they used to be very annoying to take down because they could take a few hits before they even got close to dying. And also they always made me nervous with this very slowly borrowing towards you, no matter where you stand, like this one is doing over there. Ah! I mean, to be fair, they still make me nervous, even though they're pretty much one shots now. I still don't like them. I also feel like they had a way bigger egg roll range back in the day. But maybe it also just feels that way because everything is always on level with you now. And back in the day, stuff had different level brackets. And there were just enemies that were always a lot higher than all the others in the area. Which made certain areas like this one, for example, very dangerous. Sometimes wish they would have kept that. Like leaving some enemies just above your average level and they would just grow alongside with you. I mean, he did give us five fell iron for our trouble. But before we're gonna save all his people, we're gonna hand in this quest. Because now we get more quests for that part of the Hellfire Peninsula. Hey yeah, guys, I need your attention please because I still have wings up. All right. Onwards to the pools of Agonar. Don't think we have all the quests for there yet. Maybe, yeah, maybe we're gonna run over to Falcon Watch just so we can pick up all the other quests as well. And 
Let's see. Oh, we cannot. <laughs> All right, never mind. We cannot even take these PvP objectives because they already belong to the Horde. Yeah, that's also a problem you can run into with this quest, especially in time walking. There won't be anyone retaking these for you unless you have a friend from the other side that can just come and retake them and then you can reclaim them. But uh, let's be honest, who has friends? Is this the ram mob? This is the ram mob, hell yeah. Yeah, because there is a very big crest burster, as you can see. And this one gives us a neat little achievement. And he also gives us new hands. And onwards to Falcon Watch. I mean, onwards as soon as I have transmogged my hands, because that won't go. Ah, the sweet sound of home. Let's accept all of these. Let's see if they have transmog that we don't have. No, we have all of this. That's also very important. Ever since they changed that white items can be transmogged as well to go to all of the old weapon vendors and just see if they have some appearances that you are still missing. Oh yeah, lots of quests, just like we like it. And the kill quest. And let's teleport up here. And this cutie pie also has some stuff for us. And he is also already sending us to the Zangar Marsh. But obviously we will not go there just yet. We will <laughs> run face first into this chasm. Because I just saw that there is a deposit somewhere. Like this used to be my least favorite part of the Outlands. I hated this chasm. Because these welts were kind of tough. Because they enraged. And then they did a lot of damage. And also there are still these crest bursters everywhere in the ground and also not every class used to have AoE so if you did this with a class that didn't have that great damage to begin with maybe also didn't have the best of gear and had no AoE then you were just in for the pain. <laughs> now let's kill a lot of birds maybe we can pull a lot of them together this would have been such a death sentence back in the day oh my god But no problem. Yeah, we kind of need to kill a lot of birdies for this quest. All right, wait, this is the capturing. Ah, this is the assassin quest. This is a cool quest, Shane, because it's gonna lead us to the Magar Orcs, which eventually will lead us to Nagrand, which eventually will lead us to Thrall's grandma. Because even though Nagrand is cool on both sides, I think it's a lot cooler as a horde player because you have that whole storyline with Thrall and him discovering his past. You know, back when Thrall was a really cool character. Hello there. And also, let's get even more birdies. Because my wings are up. And it's just fun. Oh, hell yeah. All the fail tethers. All the fail tethers? Wait, no, the tail feathers. All right. Um. Yeah, sure. Why not go down there to the Cenarian Falls? Let's, let's accept all the quests. Let's do all of the questing zones in the Hellfire Peninsula at once. Because that way our map can look like this. <laughs> And worse. And also these colossi, they used to be elite. And man, it took such a lot of power to take them down. This was usually one of these quests where you would just hit someone up in your guild chat and ask them if they could quickly help you. Ravengers. Like I already said in my blood mist video, I love these little cuties. I just think their design is so peak. All right, one more of the small ones. We have a small one somewhere now, but we have a fell or That's also nice. All right, we need to kill the Illidari Taskmasters. Let's do that. And once we kill them, then the dredgers can escape, which is my preferred way of doing this quest, because we will try to set these broken free. Give me something else with wings to kill. Thank you. And even though they're all demons, they don't drop us a demonic essence each. Well, at this point, we're very used to these drop rates, aren't we? Alright, thank you for the level up. And let's look at this. Oh my. Oh, Crusading Strikes. Oh, I really want Crusading Strikes. Tempest of the Lightbringer, we will be back. Don't you worry. And we also have the Shield of Vengeance, very important. And no more Crusading Strikes for us. I am quite the enjoyer of this playstyle. And also, Arzeth the Merciless, could you please kindly F off? I really need to get inside this tent. 
Also, and this is probably a very controversial opinion to have, but I think it's always very funny if you quest Outlands and then immediately after quest Legion and just take a very long and hard look at how exactly they just, you know, redeemed Illidan of all the bad things he's done here because he was just not that a prolific villain in TVC and he was just not that very present. So people quickly forgave and forgot what he done. Not that I really mind, I don't really care much about Illidan then but it's still kind of funny Ooh, and play hands we don't have yet oh yeah 250 quests completed and also let's transmog our hands and now let's steal some power of that demon that has been taunting us the entire time yeah 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 we know that he betrayed his people but you know what what are you supposed to do when faced with the legion not everyone can be a hero. And onwards, we still have a few quests to do. And when I say a few, let's first kill those hellbores for the blood samples. No, not all of these hellbores gonna have blood, obviously. What are you thinking? Kind of rude to just walk around and expect hellbores to have blood in their veins. And now after we killed a lot of... Oh! I just wanted to say and now that we killed a lot of felbors for their blood that they didn't have let's open a lot of these nests to try and find a female kaleri hatchling because that usually takes a really long time but sure it can also just be in the very first nest that we open that's also fine i don't mind that one bit let's gather a few more of these rolls because up there is another fun and exciting protection quest where we have to follow a quest giver around and wait for them to slowly walk out of the danger zone. Come along, girly, while I mine this fell iron deposit. And please take your time. You know, what's the worst that can happen? You know, at least she walks just as slow as we do when we do the slow walking instead of the running. So that's nice. And oh my god, a fell iron deposit. And yes, it's quite a long walk until we're at Falcon Watch. Don't you worry, she will walk the entire time. But so will we. Alrighty, let's hand in all these quests that we've done so far. Let's hit level 30 and let's watch this forsaken poison Adrenai captive. Nothing's bad's gonna... Oh no. Wait, but he's not dead. <laughs> um, and now. Oh yeah, we have to light the beacons. Very importantly, not the bacons. And we also need to pick up the belongings of the pilgrim that we just escorted back to the falcon watch so maybe we're gonna start there and then work our way back to the little scenario outpost do you think we have a lot of people following us oh yeah, and my mini map always keeps repositioning itself and i don't really know why but it is a little bit annoying and all of this and now we're gonna show her what we found and now she's gonna get attacked while she's getting attacked i'm gonna use the antidote and that didn't go well at all Ooh. and two deposits this close to one another it can't be ba -bam. 31 and new boots can it get any better than that? All right, so we will first now finally go to the pools of Aganar, which I said we would do like a couple of minutes ago. <coughs> and then we're gonna do a little swoop around to Thralmar and then we're gonna finally reunite at the Falcon Watch. All right, so we need to kill these slimes because one of the blood elves husbands has gone missing and apparently he died here in the pools of Aganar. and you know that's just gonna be it about it there's not gonna be any adultery involved with the fate of this man trust oh there is his journal now we need to kill a few terror fiends which are some of Vau's coolest enemies because their stomach is just a giant maw which I always found looks so cool. I've always loved these legion machines. Like, what exactly are they doing? Like, apart from showing the legion signal in the sky. Are they literally just there for that? Or are they also, I don't know, spreading some legion-esque plague? Or is it just to look cool? It probably just is there to look cool. 
which I can get behind. Looking cool is very important. And this is also one of the many, many quests that you would always try to bother a guildie about, so they would help you with this. Because taking down this Erida used to be really hard, because he was elite and a little bit bigger than the rest of the enemies in this part of the zone. But alas, all of these enemies are not elite anymore and also not so powerful. Unlike us. We're really powerful. Alright, any more fell blood samples or are you guys just all completely empty of blood? Is this a no blood situation again like it was with the boars? Alright, this time he's gonna give us alcohol and now, now we're gonna do the most fun quest ever. Because now we're gonna run around with his fell hound. Because his fell hound has swallowed the keys to one of his machines. And now we're definitely gonna do the most impressive champion work that you've ever done in your life. We're gonna feed this fell hound. And then we're gonna look through its poo and hopefully find the key. Yay. And obviously a quest like this wouldn't be the same if not every single time that thing eats it also does a very long eat animation. And now we have stanky hands on top of it all because this quest is just the gift that keeps on giving. Oh. And we're already done. <laughs> all right, you know what? Not so bad after all this quest. I definitely did not spend killing about 30 boars the last time I did it to find the keys. No, 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 no. This is always such a quick find. Don't you even worry about it. All right, there you go. And now we're gonna do the last little bit and go into this mine to also kill a demon in here so he can go back to his mining business some kind of guarding fellhound you are. You didn't even attack them once. What the hell? So we're done with this. And I also picked out a nice flying mount for us. This is the Sun Reaver Dragonhawk. This is another mount from the Argent Crusade Tournament from Wrath of the Lich King. This is, I think, my absolute favorite Dragonhawk of them all because of the coloration. And I think the Horde version of this is so much cooler than the Alliance because the Alliance just got another flying griffin. And now we also finished this little quest line. All right, and this is the question with which we are going to make contact with the Mega Orcs. But for now, I'm gonna fly over there and light up the beacon and bring back all our quests to Falcon Watch because they will once again give us even more quests. Don't you even worry about it. I remember doing this quest and always hoping that I would mount up quickly enough because every time you light these beacons, just all the surrounding mobs would run towards you. And even though we would be able to deal with that pretty easily right now, like I said earlier, this used to be a very deadly place. But you know what? This is also a place filled with minerals. 32. What do we have here? Oh yeah, more stuff. Let's get a little bit more bulky and hand in all of these quests and get more quests in return. And now Magistrix Corinda just found out that her husband was absolutely cheating before his death. So first of all, we're now gonna find out who that little snitch is. And for that, we're gonna look for his best friend that is running around on the road out here, who is hopefully gonna sell out his dead friend. Ah, there he is. All right, who was he seeing? Oh, you won't betray your friend that easily. All right, then let me show you my final verdict. That's what I thought, my guy. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, we're gonna take care of that once we're back, but first we need to stop all the Drenai that are attempting. Huh? Get a load of this. They're attempting to cleanse the pools of Agonar. And like, honestly, what the F are they thinking? We need those pools for our fell blood supply, okay? You know, it's little differences between Alliance and Horde like this that I've always appreciated so much. And I'm really sad that Blizzard kind of forgot that they used to exist at some point. Your ideas are very noble, but I'm really sorry. I gotta stop you because we absolutely need more fell blood, okay? Thank you for your consideration. All right, girly. First of all, I know what your husband's been up to. And also, I stopped the Drenai from cleansing all the fell stuff. And now we need to find some special alcohol so we can lure Cutie Pie Viera Sun Whisper over here to her certain demise. And I think... That one, yeah, we have to get some alcohol from the Zanga Marsh post. So I think I'm gonna fly over there real quick and get that. And then we're gonna be back 
in the Hellfire Peninsula in no time to do some blood elven like justice. All right, I got the Cenarian spirits for her and now we're gonna lure her away from town. And the funny thing is that the entire time my character tried to interact with the quest item with her already, but <laughs> it makes it really hard to talk to her, which is a little bit annoying. And usually what does the trick for me is casting an ability and then trying to talk to the NPC because casting an ability overrides the usage of items on them. And now, you know, we're gonna let nature do its thing. Bye bye. Have fun with Twinkle. And she's giving us her wedding ring for our troubles. Isn't that nice? And now onwards we go to a spirit guide, which is a wolf spirit that we will summon at the corpse of the orc that we found. And it's very important that we do that because if we run up to the Maga without following the wolf, then they're not gonna talk to us. The thing is that this very, very smart quest system is not showing us the corpse anymore, but I think it was lying in one of these pockets oh yeah here i mean that is the alliance corpse but does it also work with ours no we need croon spinebreaker all right but he should be up here as well right or was he down here man could he not also be like glowing with light and stuff so he's easier to find do i need to wowhead this where did i find him again ah. all right thanks to my horrible sense of orientation and Everything that entails, obviously I could not find just the corpse on my own, but I, uh, you know, I looked up the coordinates and now I found the corpse again. And now while I follow this wolf who runs faster than I walk and runs slower than I run, I'm going to end this episode for today right here. I think I already spoiled you again with a longer episode, I'm pretty sure of it. And I really hope that you've enjoyed our first little tipping of the toesy woesies into TBC. I certainly did and I cannot wait to do more of this. It's really so fun to do the old quest questing areas and sorry hulking hellbore i'm trying to record my outro here jeez and as always i hope that if you liked it you're gonna leave a comment and a like it helps and i appreciate it so much and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i hope that i'm gonna see you in the next episode when we have finally managed to follow this wolf to the destination that he's showing us but until then bye bye